Volume TV Nation. It's your man, Reggie B. Moore, doing it once again for you on Volume TV. Look, we got a hot guest for you. She's one of the hottest females out right now. She's from Texas. Her R&B single is in the top 20. None other than the one and only, Donji. How you doing? Good. Finding yourself. So, 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 so what brings you up to Baltimore today? Well, I am on tour with Trey Song and Monica. I opened up with him and we have a show here tonight. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, is this your first tour date or how many tour dates have you done with, um, with the artist so far? We have done quite a few. We started like August 6th. Okay. So, um, we're actually coming up on the end soon. Okay, okay. So, so how, did you, how do you feel about touring with um, Trey Songs and Monica? And the it feels really good. I mean, I definitely um, respect both of them. Monica, okay. I've been watching her, you know, since I was little. Trey is definitely doing his thing right now. So. Okay. Good. Yeah, I remember Trey Songs back in the day when he used to hang up in Morgan State all the time when I was going to Morgan because one of his cousins went up there and he was always there. So, so yeah, Trey, you know, big ups to Trey and everything. So you got this new album out. Yeah. So, so tell us how you got the um, idea for the name. You got to tell everybody what the name is because some oh, people yeah. might not know what the name is, but go ahead. The title of the album is Dante vs. Fat. My nickname was Fat Fat on YouTube. My friend gave it to me. Okay. I'm small, but I eat a lot. So. Okay, but, okay. I wanted to name the album that because I wanted to show people that Dondria is more than that that often she can hold her own as an artist and make her own music. Okay. And and, and you're showing them now because like I said, we've got the single going on right yes. now. It's a hot single. Everybody gotta check it out. Make sure you get it off of iTunes, get it for your cell phone, your iPhone, do everything you gotta do. Make sure you get it, all right? So 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 what singles on this album do you think are gonna be the hot singles? Well, I know that you're the one that did very, very well. Shawty What's Up, that's my second single that is yeah. also doing well. And I'm going to come out with a third single, which is Where Do We Go Wrong, that I'm hearing a lot of great feedback from. Okay, okay. So, so are we going to have any remixes to any of your singles right now? Or okay. you got any features to, um, you got any up and coming features on your album? Let's see. You're definitely going to get some remixes. I have okay. a You're the One remix. Oh, well, who's going to be on it? Got to give, gotta, gotta give it Vibe TV exclusive. Who's going to be on the well, remix? Well, I mean, it's not, it's just, me and JD, but it's okay. The that, sample, that's so good though. You got JD on there, right? The sample is the, the kicker because it's the um, BT Collins rather be what you see. Wow, so that's, that's what makes it, you know, that's high. Okay, okay. But um, as far as features, I only have one just on the second single, and that's John T. Austin. Diamond, okay. And I just wanted to keep the album a lot more self contained. So makes sense. Get the right introduction. Right. That makes sense. That makes sense. And then you don't have to worry about relying on other artists right. to push your own music because you're pushing your own music yourself. That's a good idea. Very good idea. All right. So you being from Texas and seeing how music is done on the East Coast, the West Coast, and other parts of the country, how do you feel the difference is how you do your music and other artists in other areas do theirs? Well, I think, I don't know. I know, the, I guess the most obvious difference is the speed. Uh, the music, like I know in Texas and in Houston, we like everything slow and screwed. Chopped and chopped screwed. Up. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna have a chopped and screwed remix or something? Uh, can, I, can, I, can I get one? Well, I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then Atlanta is more like, I don't know, like food, dancing. I know in like New York is like... Yeah I, know Atlanta, yeah, I know Atlanta's taking more of the Baltimore club music sound now. Everybody, after um, our friend DJ Class, he did that song. Now everybody seems like they're doing a, a, a club music beat to this. Every song, which is good. Big up to Baltimore. See how we, we influence the music, but we got to make it ourselves. All right, do it. <laughs> so so, so, go ahead. so who's, who's the next features that, that are going to be um, on your album or, or any other songs that you have? Well, other than the ones that you gave us. Mm, well, that's going to be it for the album, but I am going to be putting out Another collaboration album with me and a male R&B artist like, okay. a little later on, so okay. keep me looking out for that. Okay, okay. and we'll definitely check it out. By MTV, is, we, we always like the hottest places and everything. Okay. Everything. So, huh. let's go to a break, okay. and we'll come right back, all right? All right. So, Vine TV, check the volume, all right? Over there. Tell me how you want it. Don't 
drinking bottles. You keep flirting. So, Dondra, you starting out on YouTube, getting picked up by Jermaine Dupri. What kind of advice could you give to some of these up-and-coming artists that um, are looking for the same big break that you do? I would definitely tell them to utilize every single avenue. Use YouTube because it's definitely a way to go. MySpace, Facebook, um, all of the stuff that's viral, but still use the more traditional routes too. People still listen to demos, go to open mic nights and karaoke and talent shows and like put yourself everywhere don't just stick to one method so so i'm assuming that you stayed in the open mic nights in texas and, oh yeah uh, so so how many how many did you do a week for like one well, three times a week like, or average i guess like three times a week but it was like one like i did karaoke one night open mic one night and then something else was like another night yeah but that's how you get your name out there because karaoke you have a lot of singers that go to karaoke open mic nights everybody you, and even if you're just doing that one song right. that one song as long as you get in there and people know your name, they want to talk about you. You gotta remember about that. Right. All right. So, so all right. So you gave them the information. You gave them, tell them what to do. So let's get the let's get the fans the information. How we can contact you. How we can stay, you know, stay fans of Andre. Hey, of course. I mean, definitely follow me on Twitter. I'm always on there. I answer. I follow back at Andre. D O N T R I A. I also have a blog, which is Fatgirl.com with three F's. And right here. That's when you just get my thoughts. I put quotes up there, pictures that, um, you know, Twitter doesn't get to keep it kind of exclusive. Okay. And just one more is JD's website, global14.com, that has all the latest information as well. All right, awesome, awesome. Well, thanks again for coming in. And you gotta get done. I gotta get you on the song. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to talk to your management, get you on the song, because because your voice is lovely. Thank you, you. you. You hot right now. We don't, work, we don't work that out. And R&B. You know, R&B artists last for a while. They they just don't die, all right? They're not, not like rappers and anything. R&B <laughs> artists, they go around. I'm sorry to say that, but it's all good. That's how we do. Volume TV, check the volume. Holla all right? Like camera action, you try to focus, but you know 